everybody, I'm Dominic from MagicDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a USB charger outlet. Basically what it is, you have an outlet, and you can remove that outlet and install one of these, and you have a whole series of little outlets for your USB to charge your phones or whatever it may be. But I'm going to do this with a little bit of a twist. Because I would assume yourself, and definitely my, myself here in this situation, I don't want to remove the outlet. I still need the outlet, but I would like to add one of these. And I'm actually, we're in our, my office here, a little messy. I want to put it right up here so I can use it on top of my desk. I don't want it down on the floor. So I'm going to tap into our existing outlet and then run a wire, punch a hole up using a remodel box and be able to use it right here. So let's get going on this. Okay, here we go. Here's our outlet that I want to uh, tap into. Because uh, obviously we need the electric for our USB outlet. But I want to go right above the desk in a few inches. Uh, now, one thing, see, because I'm going right on top of it, I'm really not worrying about where our studs are. Obviously, our existing box here is nailed to a stud on which side, uh, you know, it's not the easiest thing just to look at it and say. But in this case, I could say it's on that side. Or we could uh, use a stud finder here. And go across so we can go as far as say you know 15 inches over in this case to the right and we can position it now if we wanted to go further well then unfortunately we would have to open the sheetrock up and cut our stud out uh, so in this case we're just going straight up it's a very simple extremely fast easy to do so let's get going I'm gonna cut a hole and show you how to do the hole for the box Okay, after we determined where our new outlet is going to go, I'm going to position it there with the remodel box, hold it nice and level. Now I'm just going to go around marking where I need to cut. Okay. And now we're just going to connect our little lines here. Okay, and now we're going to cut that piece of sheetrock out. And I know. The stud is on this side, and our next stud that we're not going into is way over here. Now, now, yes, sure, I can use a keyhole saw, cut it out very fast and simple, but it also makes a lot of uh, a lot of mess. So I'm going to actually use a ut utility knife, and I'm just going to make an outline very gently, right around. Whoop, maybe not so much that one. Down. And what I'm going to do, you, know, you want to do that one first. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep cutting this all around until I penetrate to the other end, and then we have our piece out. Stop. All right. Now that we are established that, that we turned our power off to our outlet, now it's something you want to test with a voltage test or something real important. Let's pull the uh, finish pulling the outlet out here, and then we can gently pull these wires out. Okay, so now this is what we have here. Now, what you want to do, let's see if I can get in, uh, see if I can get in there with the camera. Where these wires come out of the box. Now, this is a uh, like a new install, so uh, this is this case is a plastic box. So we have nails going into our stud. Now on the bottom and on the top, we have two areas where the wires can come through. What I want to do, I want to get our wire here, and I'm going to shove it up into that hole and then go up into the wall. In our case, up. Uh, yours, you might want to go right next to it or whatever it may be. Um, but as well, I'm going to go ahead and change this outlet because uh, that's all painted all over the place. Uh, and then we'll get back and get it, give you a better shot. All right, I got our Romex. I shoved it up in there. It's coming out the top, which I'll show you in a second. And I attached our, uh, our black, which is our hot, our neutral, and our ground to the existing outlet. Now, I'm not going to get too crazy showing exactly how I did that because you could have a different setup very easily. Even my outlet on the other side of the room can have be set up a little bit different. So I don't want to get too much into that. <clears throat> but basically, uh, if it's the end of the line, uh, meaning there's only uh, one set of wires coming in, then uh, you can attach it to the other side of the outlet. If it already has another set, meaning it's going to another outlet, got power in and then going to another outlet, then you want to take those wires out and pigtail them so you only have a single power going not uh, three in out and another out okay so I'm gonna put this back together then we're gonna go up on top and connect the our USB outlet all right our wire is now connected to our outlet 
Uh, we read our hole, and this is our remodel box. Now, if you look, you see these tabs in here that we can uh, knock out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one of these uh, in, and this is going to be for our new wire. It's going to come right up. See, look, just like that. It's going to come up like that. And we want to make sure that we get enough wire. Stuff. And then our remodel box is going to go right in the wood. We've got a little our, our ears. So I want to make sure we're into that. And cool. make sure it's all nice and low. Okay, look at that. Almost done. It's a flat screwdriver. We can just tighten these up by hand. Don't use a screw gun. And when you feel it gets snug, you'll know that ear has flipped around and it's grabbing the sheetrock. And there we go. It's nice and tight. Do the same with this one. Okay. Uh, sooner or later, here we go. Okay, nice and snug. Now what I want to do, I want to peel our sheathing off of our wire, cut it to our proper length, and install the outlet. So let's get going on that. Okay, our outlet is now connected to our wire that we installed. But now, let's say we, we're just replacing an outlet with one of these USB chargers. Well, you can see here, it's, uh, it's actually marked white. The other one is marked hot. Hot would be black. White is white, which is neutral. And then we have our ground. But uh, if you're in your outlet, if you only had two wires like this, then okay, remove and replace. But if you had uh, four wires, like I was explaining earlier, wires going to another outlet or wherever, that's where you'd put those in. Now, this one's a little different than this one. It doesn't matter just that they're in. Uh, and that's where you would go. Power in, power out. Okay. So now that we have our uh, outlet like that, we're going to coil these wires and push them back in the box. All right. Making sure they're nice in nicely. And now we can secure our outlet. And then turn the power on and test it. Okay, well, all installed, so we still have our existing outlet and our new USB charger. Now, again, in my case, I went up above my desk here, but, you know, you can put it next to it, down below it, whatever it may be. No sense losing a whole outlet, right? I mean, those are important. And now, look at that. We have four chargers. Don't need any more of these little plug-in ones. Let's go right in. Oop, other way. Oop, no, the other way again. There we go. And boom, now my phone's charging. Pretty cool. I like it. Amy likes it too. Amy can charge her phone. Right? Your toys, maybe charge your toys.